the rose hips. Mm -hmm. Can you? Yeah, yeah. So these are what rose They're hips? very good. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're really good. Can I? Yeah. So yeah. this one here. So these here are the. Everybody was already saying these are the rose hips. Mm -hmm. This one here is the prickly rose. There's two types in Alberta. There's the there's the wild rose and then the prickly rose. Um, and if with these ones the the prickly rose, um, the hips are a little uh, more oval shaped, whereas the wild rose they're very round, mm -hmm. big and round. The the prickly rose will be more oval shaped. Mm -hmm. And um, as they go with these. So these, the rose hips, are actually, they're one of the coolest things. Like, it's the Alberta rose. It has a, a, a pink flower on it. Uh, and it's actually the provincial, provincial flower of Alberta. And it's on all the license plates. Um, but it has a pink flower to it. And you can actually eat the flower petals. Um, I, I love doing it all the time. My girls like doing it. Uh, it kind of, it tastes like perfume. Uh, not that perfume tastes good, but it, 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 ta it's, it tastes like perfume smells, really. You eat it. You eat the pink, the pink petals, and they taste really good. Good on tea as well. Yep. Freaking tea. Oh yeah. yeah, but and then with these rose hips, um, another name for them is uh, prickly bumberry. Because hmm. um, if you go yeah. and you open it up, see how it has those seeds in it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. those so? seeds. Um, I refer to them like they're they're more like um, fiberglass. Mm -hmm. um, so if you look at them, they have really, really like thin hairs on them. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, the Aboriginals call it prickly, prickly bumberry because if you ate them, um, you as you as you pooed it out, it would make you give you a, an, an itchy butt. Huh? Um, so that's the the prickly bumberry. But with these uh, these uh, these rose hips, they're really um, they're really really high in vitamin C. So. Two of these have about the same amount of vitamin C as one orange. Oh. Yeah. And so what you can do is, uh, is instead you can just pick off the skin mm -hmm. and then so. just eat the skin. Yeah. And it's really, really high in vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you have to eat it a certain time of year. Like right now is okay. Uh, it's either when they're orange, like bright orange or bright red. That's oh. when you'd want to eat it. Mm -hmm. so <laughs> can you make jam, uh, a jam with these as well? I've never heard of making a jam. I've seen it. Rose have you? Ro jelly, rose hip jelly. Mm, okay. Yeah. And I wonder if it tastes like I have the round orange. One. <laughs> What's that? It tastes like orange. No. Lemon. No. A no. different. It tastes. <laughs> yeah, you could try it. Just uh, if you want to try it, it turns your fingers orange. I can take it. Yeah. 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 You can try it out. Just make sure you just try the outer 